want to thank you, Sophia, and the Counterterrorism Project very much for inviting me uh, to do this uh, webinar from Paris. I am in Paris uh, right now. And um, I think I will speak uh, slower and less clearly uh, than the two other participants. So please, uh, I apologize uh, for advance. Um, you know the, the French accent. Um, in fact, uh, as, uh, as Mr. said, I have been working uh, since uh, 2020 with uh, the investigating judges. Um, before I was in the appeal court in, uh, in Paris also. And my goal uh, since uh, 2020 um, is to help them to clarify the files of the individuals who left uh, for the Iraqi uh, Syrian zone. And I write a lot of reports about the migratory and ideological journeys of these individuals. I can also participate in interrogations so that means that uh, I can uh, see uh, the terrorists and I can observe them and I'm, I, I can speak with them about uh, the, uh, the in investigation. So it's very interesting to, to know um, and to uh, determine uh, several kinds of profiles and I will uh, speak about that. Um, I, I followed the paths of dozen uh, women who, uh, who, uh, who returned from Syria between uh, 2016 and, uh, and today, so I will uh, speak about that. And I will uh, develop two points around the questions. First of all, some uh, numbers and the French uh, qualifications used against the returnees. Uh, then I will uh, speak about different profiles that I have determined with the judges or, or when um, I wrote my, my books. Uh, so I will, um, I will begin with the, with the numbers and the qualifications. It's very different uh, um, if we compare with uh, Germany. France uh, um, is a little bit uh, particular when we speak about uh, terrorism and uh, Islamism, Islamist terrorism, jihadism. Um, as you know, in France, uh, criminal policy on terrorism has been completely transformed uh, since the attack of Mohamed Merah in uh, 2012, uh, more than uh, 1,600 individuals um, three or four years after uh, left France to, do, to go to Syria and Iraq to fight uh, Bashar al-Assad uh, at the first, uh, the first point they developed. But after that, they joined uh, ISIS or uh, other jihadist groups as uh, Jabhat al-Nusra, Ahar al-Sham, etc. So um, France is, uh, is uh, famous now for the uh, for its uh, impressive uh, capacity of uh, uh, sending uh, fighters in Syria and Iraq and, Iraq, and how legal policy has, uh, has been transformed um, in South France. Since 2021, uh, uh, the French policy is bringing in women and children drop by drop. Um, in June 2022, um, we have numbers. Um, legal numbers about uh, which uh, individuals uh, are in uh, the Rojava camps. In fact, we can uh, keep uh, one, uh, one, uh, one number, um, 4,041 um, 4, French, uh, sorry, 441 uh, French individuals left in Iraq and Syria are in the camps in June 2022. 20, uh, in including uh, 107 females and uh, 51 uh, men. The rest, uh, so uh, 283 minors. Uh, so there is a large part for the minors, uh, but it's a, a real issue for, for us to, uh, to have a, a vision and to understand how we can um, treat uh, these, uh, these minors. Um, in fact, uh, the, the Minister of Justice, Eric Dupont Moretti, uh, said, I think, uh, two weeks uh, ago, that uh, 77 minerals were repatriated uh, in France by the, by the French authorities, including 7, 71 uh, from uh, Camps of Rojava in seven operations between March of uh, 20. Uh, 
2019 and October 2022. So we have uh, a large part of the, the, the miners, but uh, they, uh, they are still uh, in, uh, in whatever comes for uh, more than uh, 100 of them. So it, it is a big, big, uh, big topic uh, here in France. And in fact, it, um, the, the, the topic the, the, of, the, of the return of the jihadists in France is very political, in fact, because uh, if we, uh, if we uh, see the, 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 the different uh, uh, positions of uh, Emmanuel Macron or uh, the, the Minister of Foreign Affairs or the Minister of Justice, they are not the the, the same lines um, in the in these uh, questions, and we have to uh, to consider one thing that uh, uh, this summer after the, the French presidential uh, elections uh, at the beginning of July, the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, it changed uh, announced the, the return of sixteen women, as you said, and uh, forty five uh, children. It's very important to notice because in France you don't have a global policy before that, before that uh, that moment. Um, until uh, 2022, uh, legal uh, qualifications for the returnees um, are, have changed because you have two kind of uh, qualifications in France. To, uh, for the terrorists, huh? you have correctional uh, qualifications. Um, by example, uh, when you you you, you build uh, apologetical, I don't know if you <laughs> can say that uh, like that. Um, apology of jihad huh? uh, in the social networks, um, you have qualifications. Um, I think it's about three or four uh, years in prison. Um, to, uh, to uh, for, for the penalties. So corrections, um, in fact, uh, are very uh, are several. And uh, when you uh, come back from Syria and Iraq uh, before 2016, you have the penalties between one and ten years in prison. When you participate as a fighter or as a as a membership of uh, Jabhat al Nusra or I don't know uh, ISIS, uh, it was between one and ten. Years um, for women returnees, for female returnees from Syria until 2016, prosecutions were not systematically uh, engaged, and the prison sentence were every, uh, each time correctional. We don't have the, the capacity of thinking that women um, could be. Uh, Conflict uh, in this uh, in this engagement um, in the in the jihad in the the jihad and we, we don't have the, the conscience that uh, women could be uh, could be uh, fighters as as men. Uh, it's probably uh, linked to the to the other uh, um, contention uh, con to the other uh, um, capacity of French uh, in criminality, uh, organized uh, criminality, there's no woman, so in terrorism, there's no woman also. So it was a, 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 a mistake. And after uh, 2016, uh, the penal policy has become uh, tougher. All the individuals, men and women, uh, were systematically prosecuted for criminal charges between uh, 10 and 40 years. Uh, of prison sentences. Uh, so there is a tsunami a revolution um, uh, since uh, 2016. Since uh, 2020, French female returnees are prosecuted systematically also uh, for, bring, for bringing their children to a war zone uh, in Iraq and Syria. It's, uh, I, I don't know if you, I, 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 I believe that in, in Germany is not the case. We consider that uh, when you bring your, your, your children, uh, you have made a mistake and you have um, created a traumatism that uh, uh, you have to, to pay. Second point, uh, as we said, I studied several profiles of women. Um, uh, we have the feeling that uh, 
woman. In fact, actually, uh, um, I think uh, I have uh, seven files of uh, women, uh, of returnees, uh, female returnees. And in uh, this uh, seven uh, files, we have the, the, the feeling that women speak more than men uh, who returning from Syria. That's to say, uh, thanks to their depositions, instruction of files has been enriched uh, for a lot of files, including, uh, by example, for the family clan, la, la, la family clan, um, just to, to describe uh, this family. Um, in fact, uh, you know, when the um, 40, uh, 14 uh, November, uh, the attack of 14 November in uh, 2015, um, two, uh, two individuals, um, I, I think it was a uh, three or four year, four days after the attack, um, speak and, uh, and uh, in fact, uh, uh, diffused uh, a message to, uh, the, for, for the revendication of ISIS of the, uh, the attack and the, the brothers, Claire, uh, rather the two. And in fact, now we have the woman, we have the, the sisters, we have the, the, the other women of this family are in the prison in, uh, in France. And so we, uh, we, we learn a lot of things thanks to them because they speak about uh, the two brothers clan, by example, or Sabri Acid. Sabri Acid is one of the worst uh, jihadists uh, in France also. So a capacity of speaking, uh, very few of them refuse to speak, yes. Um, I think I, 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 I never see one of them to, with a position of, of, um, of mutism, um, in fact, to my mind. About the question of membership of ISIS ideology, uh, they don't all have the same speech. Some say that uh, they were totally um, uh, convinced by uh, ISIS vision before, but other keep a position of victim. Uh, and they say that they were rights of uh, jihadists and not jihadists, in fact. Uh, this is a, a difference, a big difference in the conception of a woman when we speak about uh, jihad. And um, yet uh, we know after the police and army uh, um, investigations, um, who well, um, they, they have updated the role of women in the Madafas, in the Hizba, uh, as Sophia said, uh, uh, in the participation to the genocide of Yazidis. So the charges uh, have also uh, changed uh, as, uh, if, if, if you compare with, with before. Their role of mother is particularly uh, highlighted to explain they stayed in Syria until uh, 2019, uh, um, until, you know, uh, the offensive of Kurdish in, uh, in Barouz, in the village of Barouz. And they say we stay because we have our, our children, we have our family, and we don't know to, to fight uh, um, anywhere. But in fact, uh, uh, as I said, France, uh, considered um, nowadays that, uh, that the women have a responsibility um, because they take their children and they, 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 they created a, a, a true trauma for them in, um, in, the, in the moving, in their movement to, uh, to Syria. Minors and the charges, uh, the children female returnees are all, always separated when they uh, come back in France. Uh, you know, after the plane, they are separated and uh, um, uh, institutions, uh, the Minister of Justice, the Minister of um, Interior and, and, and Foreign Affairs are very uh, uh, linked in this uh, capacity of, uh, of thinking uh, what, uh, what, will, what the minors uh, um, embody here in France, how we can, we can help them to uh, to be uh, in the in the best uh, environment in France, all the minors, all the French minors, um, were subject to judicial care, which combined uh, placement 
in child welfare and an uh, educated uh, measure in an open environment uh, with a systematic ban on uh, on leaving uh, the French territory. But you have um, a, a very important uh, um, legal um, policy uh, for them now. Finally, uh, thanks to the dispositions, we uh, also understand better uh, uh, the current situation in the camp of Arroj on Arol in Rojava, where uh, a real ideological uh, war is being uh, waged between the hard ones of ISIS who give up uh, their jihadist convictions and the women who are even uh, more radicalized. As I said, that the the first category is a disbeliever, and uh, there are a lot of fights. It's very uh, problematic, uh, and we know uh, we know that thanks to the depositions of uh, female returnees' uh, interrogations. So uh, uh, we know that uh, the evolution is not uh, is not really um, uh, easy uh, to uh, to understand, and uh, we don't know how Kurdish. Uh, um, will do to uh, to make uh, security in their camps uh, in the months uh, um, in the months to conclude we have to say that uh, we accept twice the number of women that have who have uh, sorry uh, already returned so um investigating uh, judges um Administrations of uh, of prison uh, continue to to prepare uh, to prepare uh, because it's uh, it will be very uh, very uh, intense in the in the future months even if the French population is sometimes um, and still uh, sceptical about this returnees. I thank you very much for your attention. And